get started with Fluence Excel, open Excel and navigate to the Fluence Excel ribbon. Here you will find all Fluence Excel functionality. First, you will need to make a connection to your data. Select the connection option from the ribbon. Here you will see any recent connections if you have any, or you can make a new connection. A number of connection types are available. For example, if we want to connect analysis services, I would select that connection type, enter my server web address, and click connect. For now, I'm going to connect to the sample database. This then shows the available databases and cubes. In this sample, there are two data sets, consolidations and sales. We'll use the sales one in this case, and then select the internet sales cube. Once you have made your selection, click Save to add the connection. Any number of different connections can be added to a workbook, but we'll stick to just this one for now. We are now ready to start exploring our data. First, we will insert a grid using the ribbon menu. This opens the grid designer with a list of available hierarchies on the left. These can then be dragged to any position in the grid. For example, I will place measures and product categories on filters, calendar date on columns, and sales territory on rows. If I do not make any member selections within the hierarchy, the default member will be used. However, I can pick exactly which members I want to see by selecting the hierarchy and then using the member selector box on the right. I can expand the tree view to navigate the hierarchy and select any number of members by dragging them over to the right hand side of the member selector. At this point, we have finished designing the grid. So you can click OK. This will insert the grid at the position of the active cell. This gives us a very simple report which we can now use to navigate through the data and start gaining business insights. If needed, we can always enter back into the grid designer, either by using the right click Fluence Excel menu or double clicking anywhere on the data area in the grid.